Hello, uh, tacticians and strategists, split commanders and Viper pilots. Uh, welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock and playing hardball. It is Gisela's turn, our strongest fleet, to do the chapter 12 mission. Let's proceed. We have two fleets here. And I think, yeah, I think we should do it. I think we can do it. Um, we, we might even, I mean, I was maybe too careful. I, we probably should have sent the other fleet uh, at this planet around. But my intention is actually rather to send Gisela out again to hunt some Cylons. So let's see where the next and I think last story mission will happen. So let's go in. It is very dangerous, I'm sure. Um, but I'm also hoping that we are getting the Galactica. I have no idea what's happening, but I would hope that, and that way we would have a Jupiter-class oh, battleship um, way earlier. Oh, that's like nice. And there is a ship down there, okay, but otherwise... Yeah, now that is nice. That's a nice background here. But we don't see any other ship. So let's, uh, well, let's be careful. And maybe stay together a little bit more. Like this. Huh? No, you go, you go low. Battle stars go low. Yeah. One battle star goes a little bit higher. Let's keep our ships a little bit together here. What's that? There seems to be some form of space structure. Well, let's keep them together. You guys can fly here. Yeah, that is like... I don't feel so good about this actually, but well... So, let's have our Vipers, let's have one Armor Piercer, yeah, and let's pro proceed. Mission Prerequisites, request use of the Raptor Squadron, ah yeah, okay, well then, let's have a Raptor then on the Rainier. Yeah. Maybe we should have two? No. Let's do it like this. Oh, the excitement, the tension. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, one. Thank you, Elena. There. Precise jumping. Very good. Sir, no accidents. Lots of contacts on the board, but no IFF handshakes. None of them are moving either. Have your forces proceed to the terminal, Commander. I will monitor their progress along with Lieutenant Agathon. <gasps> it is a Jupiter battleship down there. Oh. Can we control her? No, we can't. But it is a Jupiter here. Okay. <gasps> it is the Galactica. It is the Galactica. I kind of, I have her design like it's, I, hmm. maybe I don't recall the series correctly, but I, I think her design was different, wasn't it? But well, need to check that, could be mistaken. So they've got a lot of freighters here, that's just colonial freighter, well, and well, what are we supposed to do? Doggy Raptor Squadron at Caprica Terminal, okay, this is Caprica Terminal, so that's Caprica, well. Well, I guess we are launching all squadrons. Understood. Adamant, launch your Vipers. And then, well, uh, let's stick together. So we, are just, we are just flying forward a bit. That's just like that. However, the Manticore goes on full identification. Yeah, and everybody else. Well, actually, 
let's be careful so if someone comes shows up we can start shooting if we are in range so so you guys you all and the two adamants just like that so but maybe uh, we are actually staying above the battle star yes, like Commander. this like this or oh, let now not not exactly like that because we want Understood. to get higher so we don't have any problems with firing missiles actually yes sir so let's do it like that well however what am i doing here we need to fly lower of course as low as possible Fly like that well and the manticore can actually fly Understood. forward like that we are not hitting ourselves here right i hope so and then you are also flying lower The adamants go like that so well ending the turn anybody showing up no but that's a very nice fleet picture here nice very nice actually very nice the raptor Uh, well, how to do that? Select target? No. Move. What do we have to do? <laughs> well, Vipers are defensive. Yeah, well. I guess we just, uh, but let's keep a little bit of distance here. Let's go low. Yes, sir. Oh, well, our flagship has more m maneuver maneuverability of course so well and let's <clears throat> let's have two vipers defend where's the raptor There. No. There. And you guys defend the Galactica. Like, I have no idea what the story is about right now, actually. What are we supposed to do? What's going to happen? We had... We had neutralized the Cylon. Last time they had promised us to return the Galactica or something, so apparently they have returned her, or what? None of the transports are responding to our hails. It's as if they're abandoned. Uh-oh. I sense a trap. And packed with explosives, they are flying towards us, huh? Or what? Or what's going on here? Well, and like, what is happening now? Dock your Raptor squadron at Caprica Terminal. This is Caprica Terminal. Mm. 
No, we don't want to crash there. But that's a bit weird. No hostile targets present. Hmm. Yeah, well, what's what's going on now? <laughs> what? That's a bit stupid here. Docu Raptor Squadron at Caprica Terminal. These are our Raptors. I can't just click on it. And I think like if we like what's going on here? Or do we have to go down there or what? Yeah, yeah, well, I'm at a loss. I, I have no idea what to do now. Like moving. Oh no, it's boarding, of course. So then that's board, okay. Boarding Caprica Terminal, okay, yeah. Boarding means an, a hostile attack, by the way, yeah? So that's actually, it's a bit counterintuitive, but whatever. So, well, maybe you two defend here so there so we we have our guys on the outer side there and you yeah you're already defending the Artemis all right well ending the turn then well, let's actually go a little bit lower still so say we all So say we all. Brigades. Well, there's someone here. Colonial transport. Well, ending the turn. What are they doing? Are they are just sitting there in Marines space? Marines have been okay. deployed to the terminal, sir. Aha! Uh -huh. Someone is jumping in. <clears throat> Four ships, five ships, six, seven, eight. Commander, <coughs> multiple Dreadus contacts. <clears throat> Hostiles are bearing constant. Ah. Uh. And they are all out of protection range. Oh no, they are over there. Okay, they they jumped in behind the terminal. Okay, well, well, by all means, then let's check them out. Let's fly around like that. Yes, Commander. guys fly like that yeah we are flying like on the left side around so you guys can actually boost around then fly like so and then well the Jupiter is kind of is sort of a uh, a bit exposed there if these guys are all coming in but well yeah well i would expect a lot of uh, enemy raiders so well let's see let's keep our vipers together ending the turn iff confirms unit is hostile it's, it's just the nemesis over there or oh, they are firing hostile unit identified torpedoes okay that's actually not so good fighter ah. squadron is taking fire Fighters rigged the civilian ships with explosives priority objective remains continue to investigate the terminal marines have friendly contacts hundreds of them alpha team is on speaker give me your comms marine this is praetor agathon of the capricorn legionnaires Sam! Thank the gods you're alive! Lena? You're telling me my little sisters come to save the day? Look, I know you've got questions, but there are civs down there. 
Tell whoever's in charge we need to evacuate the terminal immediately. Um, okay, well, so the Cylons took them prisoner or what? Like, at Caprica Terminal, right over Caprica, while we had our fleet all around all the time. That's not very convincing. Well, so what happens here? Oh, well, they got us. Do we need to shoot them? Can we shoot them? No targeting command available. Are we short? Well then, let's stay clear of the... Or can our, can our uh, Vipers maybe... Oh, the Vipers, what, what happened? What happened to them? I guess they were... Well then, and they can also not attack. Hmm. Wow. Or is this like, are there, are there atomic bombs on them or what? Hmm. That is all a bit weird. So then let's fly over there. Yes, sir. Ranger. Firing all missiles. However, now that there are these ships around, yeah, well, let's let's fire our missiles, and the next turn we are going to go all into defensive mode. Just need to fly here. Like if this thing here is full of explosives, then it's not a good idea to get close to them. They should actually not be able to fly down there to our ships. Why can't we ship them? What did they bring? Another nemesis over here that's an Arachne. Oh, Elite Arachne. Revenant. And the torpedoes are flying in. Probably... Well... Let's go high. Well, let's actually fly like this. On it, Commander. Why can't we shoot these uh, these freighters now? That that it's not it's not logical at all. Yeah. Uh, but then let's fly. Let's fly there. These elements firing at this nemesis. Focus fire there. Yeah, well, wait for Praetor Samantha Agachon, defend the Galactica. Hmm. The Revenant. Well, I mean, the torpedoes are coming in, so well, we are just we are flying higher. And actually, uh, let's actually fly out of here like this. However, we should we should go offensive. Fire some missiles at this guy. They shouldn't boost actually. Full attack. Firing there. And you guys, yeah, you are shooting at that one, okay. Yeah. Well, that's all a bit weird. Yeah, well. Probably should have kept the distance. But then the Galactica would be uh, quite an. an would have some problems here okay well anyway so let's have let's have two squadrons 
defend the Galactica. Where are the others? Oh, I think... Oh, did... Oh, I think the explosion took out the whole squadron or what? Well, then you guys... Recall. Recalling squadron. They're defending there, you, you three. And that's the radar squadron. Well, let's have you two attack this radar then. And the Raptor is also attacking the Arachne, and then we are going to... Squadron target is confirmed. Um, fire our missiles at that one. Yeah, well, that's all a bit crappy here, but well. Yeah. So everybody has their orders now. Ending the turn. Missiles incoming! Galactica crew is inbound to Big Bird. You need to give them time to spool up and jump out of here. I'm still on the station. The Cylons have been holding on to something here. Give me time to check it out. Well, how, how did she even get on the station? What's going on? And why is the Galactica not attacking? I mean, now we can actually do something. So here, super slow. Well, you guys, you just mess up the Arachne here. We do have guided missiles, okay. Well then, by all means, let's shoot the missiles there. Let's launch all squadrons. They have only Viper 1. Hmm. Those missiles are coming there well. Yeah, well, I guess actually that we need to fly so like so. Huh? Let's focus fire there. Well, then maybe the these ships, they are just floating in space, basically like mines. Um, so if we stay clear of them, it's, everything should be okay, I guess. Yes, Commander. Flying like this, shooting at the Nemesis. Our Ranger is a bit messed up here, so let's stay, actually, let's stay On here. On it, Commander. Ah oh, yeah, well they have the the missiles are actually flying at the Manticore. So say we all. So let's brace for impact. You two vipers. You are there. You defend the slinger. The other Vipers, yeah, you guys, you are on this radar already, that's good. Manticore fights and shoots at the radars, oh, and we should not fly over there. Yeah, well, flying towards the missile is also a bad idea, but we need to fly away from all these ships there. And uh, actually, like you guys, you need to keep your distance as well. Firing over there. This battle star is also firing at the nemesis. Let's roll up their left flank. Jupiter should actually be able to hold her own, right? They have a lot of uh, radars incoming. Well. Do we have any information how far the blast radius is from these things? Like based on the on the one that blew up? Hmm. Evidently not. So the Earhart will actually fly over there. Yeah. 
you'll fly just over here. No, let's let's not let's be careful. On it, Commander. Get enough height to get over the station, over this terminal. Okay. So we are also shooting here. Okay then. So ending the turn. Nemesis receives missiles, and we have the kill. Very good. Double kill. Both Nemesis are down. Manticore is taking Very damage. Good. Slinger got hit by the rockets. Yeah. Well, the right side is open, and the bottom is reduced. So well. Let's fly away. But let's stay clear of these guys there. And we've got you guys coming in from here. Understood. Like so. Firing at the revenant there. You guys come around like this. Also firing at the revenant. And you also yeah, come around. They are also fire at this one. Rain, the ranger stays like so. Oh, that well, the, the revenant is over there. Well, let's shoot at the. Oh, yeah, well, let's shoot missiles and our guns at the revenant and our two adamants. come around high and also fire at the Revenant. So we've got a dogfight at our, on our hands. MK1 Vipers. Engage this heavy radar yes, squadron. Sir. Then we've got this Raptor. Attacking that Arachne. No, 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 not, no, no, not do it yet. Just attacking them. There's our other raptor here. Now you guys fire your munitions and you also attack this. You guys. Oh yeah, they are nearly done, that's good. So you go for this radar squadron. You too go for that radar squadron. It's very nasty that they have the modern radars. Well, they are still Squadron here, target right? is so confirmed. You guys, you attack that one. Or you guys, you go for that one. Yeah, well, yeah, so you guys, yeah, you are on that Squadron one target guys, is so. confirmed. The Jupiter. And firing at the Arachne. There's another Arachne, by the way. Oh, and they have torpedo. Oh, they've got cluster bombs, okay. And they have regular missiles. Uh-huh. So I guess we should fire our flak. But I'm actually I'm a bit uh, scared for our units here, but well. Left side flak. They will fly around, right? They will not remain in the flak cloud, so um and yeah, let's hope that this That this freighter is not blowing up. Or maybe we should actually stay low. Let's stay here like this. Like that. Well, that's certainly a nasty fight here. So say we all. And in the turn. Fire. 
but they are okay, yeah. Well, but we do have the flood cloud. The, the, we have a huge flood cloud, by the way. Someone shot down the Raptor. So our Raptor here, or oh, that was the one that has still had its missiles. Huh? So this one here, where are you? Here, you shoot your missiles. Oh no, the other one shot the missiles as well. Okay, so and then, well, actually, you guys need to attack the raiders. Yes, sir. They are on this radar, okay. That's the two, yeah, okay. You stay on that one. Jupiter, keep firing at the Arachne. This one is chewed through. This one's also already messed up. You guys. Still fire there. Our adamants. How are we doing? It's a messy situation here. Going higher. Fire at them. Artemis. Dives up around. Here we are firing like if we are firing missiles right now. Um yeah well let's yeah which one but we don't fire at our own ships. Let's fire at this one. But we shoot our guns there. This Artemis comes around like so. Focus fire there, and we are firing missiles probably like so. Oh, there's a Cerberus, yeah. So let's also fire at this Arachne there. Not sure if we are actually shooting into the station. Yeah, I guess we are. So let's rather fire missiles here at that Revenant. But we are shooting missiles here, uh, uh, guns here. Coming around like so. Focus fire. Firing missiles. No, we are not firing missiles around because they will probably hit the station. But we should actually be fine hitting this one with our missiles. Okay, so. The Manticore. Can actually come around like so. But the right side is open. No. But we can actually uh, be a bait. Yes, sir. For this revenant there, I guess. So the Galactica's flood cloud is actually should be fine. Yeah. Oh, and well, the crew is not experienced. So I, I wonder what's going on. That should actually be one of the most experienced crews. But well. And we do have a problem in terms of fighters. So that's another Cerberus there. They are not elite though. So this one here, this is the only elite Arachne. Yeah, well. Okay then, so coming around, everybody has their orders, we need to turn. Adamant is Revenants taking damage. Are under pressure, we have one kill. Now everything shoots at the other revenue. Terminal is evacuated there. and marked priority objective. Tell your boss you can blow it sky high, little sister. You can't be serious. Networked Cylon terminals are laced throughout the entire station. Every single one is targeting the Aegis Relay with bulk uploads of garbage data. Destroy this network, and I can take you straight to Avalon. Okay. Well. Let's hope we're not uh, inside of any blast yes, radius sir. or something. That Revan is nearly done. So let's help out over here. Oh, the oh, the, the we are we are under pressure here. Okay, is the by the way the Caprica terminal does it shoot at us? Do they have any guns? No. Okay. Ranger. 
firing missiles into this one. Galactica. Staying like, oops, what are we doing? Staying like so. Flag cloud on the left. Should neutralize everything. Oh well, and yeah. Uh, let's still focus fire here firstly. We are not firing any missiles at this point. Our Vipers are in trouble. You two attack this squadron. And we've got you guys. Yeah, you go on that one. What is this Raptor doing? You guys are fighting over there. Yeah. Yeah, we are in trouble. Lots of trouble. Taking them. We have two squadrons here, so you guys go for that one. And you guys go for this one. They seem to go for the Galactica. So say we all. Well, let's actually let's just stay here. The flood cloud should actually catch everything. Ranger shouldn't come too close over there. Yes, let's Commander. Fly like this. And their right side is not open, but the front and the bottom is nearly through. So let's fire at this one as well. And well, the Atlat list yeah, is under pressure, so this is where the Revenant has been shooting. However, no one else is firing, so I guess we can actually just turn around. Let's turn around like so. We are still, although no, we are actually in a good position to fire at this one here as well. But let's fire missiles here. Artemis. Flies over there, but we are, uh, although no, let's con concentrate on that one. And the two battle stars over here. Understood. Come around and fire. There. So say we all. We do have we do have a nice tactical advantage with our height. So it's actually fine. So the Manticore comes yes, around. Sir. And then the Manticore actually has the job to fire at Caprica Terminal. But we are firing our missiles. Over there at the Cerberus. It's far enough away and high enough away, so it should be fine. I would even prefer to fire this one, but we yeah, can't afford that. And let's actually fly like On it, this. Commander. So. And by the way, let's rather keep our distance from that one. Oh no, and also let's not present our right side yes, sir. like that. So, well, I guess that's the best we can do at the moment. This one will blow up in a moment. Ending the turn. Adamant is taking damage. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Yep, they're all shooting at the Galactica. Good, Subsystem double kill. Online. Oh, but they are so high. Oh, oh, oh. They are coming in the top. That's not so good. But well, so then Ranger. Come around, firing. Artemis. Come around like so, firing at the heavy radar. All oh, the guys. On it, Commander. Well. Fire at this heavy radar. This Artemis. Yes, sir. Oh, that's a base star. 
We have a base star, repeat base star detected. Oh, and that's where the other missiles were coming from, huh? Well, can we actually shoot some armor piercers? No, not yet. Well, our Viper situation is dire. That's yeah, so actually the adamant. Yeah, they, well, they are firing at the heavy radar. You guys are hunting this radar squadron. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a messy situation down there. Who is here, by the way? So one, two, three, and the Raptor against looks like three of them and they are nearly at full strength so that's not good you guys are on that one you on this one and you on that one okay and the raptor is helping out there okay well they will they will help there so our capital ships need to destroy the heavy raiders here so you've got this one here huh yeah So you need to fire this one. And you guys... What are you actually shooting at? There. Yeah, well, keep on doing that. But we do have some trouble here with the Jupiter. The top is nearly through. Well, we can't do much else though. Well, but we are also kind of exposed, so it's not a good thing here. Yeah, well, can't do much else. And I guess if we fire our missiles... Yeah. So, Manticore. Come around like so, our right side and the bottom are problems. So I think these ships, they are actually drifting away a bit. Could that be? Yeah, I think so. And you are the one that's shooting at the terminal. Okay, so let's hope the, the explosion blast is not actually doing something to our ships. So ending the turn. There are more missiles. Centurions have boarded a battle star. Oh no, the oh. oh Centurions oh, have boarded oh. a battle star. Oh, between the oh my goodness, between our frigates, they were they were aiming for the frigates. I think they were aiming for the Atlas actually. Well, you guys go a bit lower then. So say we all. You guys go a bit higher then. And more missiles are coming from there. Well, you guys, oh, they are boarded. Repeat, we are boarded. Well, let's fire missiles. Are they good? This one, the Arachne is down. That's good. Cerberus is not that. Oh, they, yeah, the Raiders. Cerberus is not that problematic right now, so let's fire our missiles at this one. And then we are coming around. And the next turn we are activating our flak. Well, here... Oh yeah, they are actually... Launching alert, Vipers. There. You guys are coming around Understood. like so. You need to help out with the raiders. You're firing missiles here as well. And well, actually, I think you need to... Yeah, the missiles will reach us. Most likely. So let's actually go high. And instead, we are activating our flak on the left. And we are not firing the missiles yet. And what was the, the posture that is like 
the marine strength. Ah oh, yeah, so let's do it like that. Let's be defensive. And then you guys are also firing. What's our turret range now? Yeah, then you guys are helping out against the raiders instead. So we are not firing the missiles. And these missiles, they're coming there. Ah, yeah, well. Yeah, we need everything we can. So let's fire. Repairing the hangar. It's a bit sad, but well. And then you guys. Yeah, firing at the squadron over there, okay. Manticore. Coming around like so. The Ranger. This Artemis, by the way, let's fly like so this. So say we all. We have a space accident. Yeah, I think so. Or let's fly forward. Like this. And let's also shoot. Our missiles back from here, yeah. I hope that we are not hitting it with our own flood cloud, but it should be fine. Like from this height, let's fire at the base star, but we are shooting our guns, let's say, at this radar squadron there. Or the ranger, oh, it's we are getting a bit close to this one, probably. So let's fly like this. Forward guns, heavy radar squadron, they are really tough. Um, yeah, we are also firing here, there, missiles over there, the main guns can go there. You guys are in top 17 now. Yeah. So, but I guess we could go a bit higher here. And then we are firing at this one. So, okay. Vipers are there. Yeah, well, our Vipers have a very hard day here. That looks actually pretty bad, but well, no. You guys are on that one. Both of you. Well, then you guys go there. And then here we have Three squadrons against four. Uh, well, one of us is nearly dead. You guys go against this one, yeah. You go against that one, and you guys are against this one. All right. Yeah. Not so good. Not so good. Ending the turn. Like, yeah, well, not so good. You guys, they are at level two, uh, strength two. Atlatlis, well, I guess the Atlatlis needs to stay away. Understood. Let's fly like this and let's shoot at this one. Yeah, we are still. Let's stay offensive. Or let's actually fire. No, we can't fire. Okay. But well, then. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. 
two raiders like like parasites over here boarding party is 181 oh, oh, oh we have only 150 marines here that's not so good and i think now we can't do anything huh there are oh my goodness the artemis well but i guess like if we destroy the the Cerberus, then uh, this should actually weaken them, right? So let's do that then. You guys fly forward. Firing at the Cerberus. Then let's actually go for the Cerberus. This third one, there I are well. You guys. Oh, you should get this one here. Yeah. You guys stay here. Well, actually, let's shoot this one. Yeah, let's switch off the flag. Firing missiles into the Cerberus. The adamant is kind of in does have some problems here though so but we need to stay we need to stay and shoot fortunately but let's fire at this guy here to there and the artemis is providing the flag so let's keep the although no let's cancel the flag firing missiles there and we are also, can we actually shoot at them while they are on the hull? I'm not sure. Like, is that working like that? Or are we actually shooting at the at the Artemis? Are we shooting up our own ship that way? So say we all. You guys stay here, fire at the terminal. Well, we are activating the flag on the left, like this, and we are actually, let's fire at this one here. Well, that is pretty messy there, ending the turn. Squadron has gone dark. Cerberus is under a lot of pressure there. Yep, that's a good thing. So. Now we are keeping it up. Firing at them. The adamant. What's the situation here? 119. Oh yeah, well. And our marines at 127. Okay. doesn't look so good now well then let's actually let's do something very nasty we are flying like yes, this commander. and we're flying our flag cloud into the enemy and you are shooting at this one the ranger Firing down at the radars. The adamant. Kusaya fires at the this guy, however, shoots missiles here. Well, this adamant. Could fire missiles, but I think it's not safe. I 
unless we Onyx fly Commander. like so. Firing here. And well, actually, I guess we could do it. Firing munitions there. Well, you guys. Yeah, you don't have your flag activated. Come high like so. And you are focusing fire there, there because they should be in range, right? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay. Caprica terminal. Ah, oh, yeah, it's about to blow up. Okay. And then our slinger can also fire some missiles into this base star there, right? And you guys. You are firing here. We are coming a little bit close to this colonial freighter here, though. So, so say we like all. This. Well, they never made it through the armor of the Jupiter, of the Battle Galactica. So, and then, well, our planes down here, that's a very bad situation. Just one. There. Yeah, there are two to one now. That we are losing this. That's really not good. Where are you guys? There. You guys are there and you are here. And why are you guys there? The Pamir is this one. Oh well, oh they made it they made it back. Okay, well then let's recall you. That's the only good news. Oh yeah, well, there's a huge explosion coming up, by the way. So from down here, okay. Not sure if that was a good idea, like such a structure to build such a structure that takes years. So ending the turn. Cerberus, double kill, oh wow, nice explosion Missiles there. incoming. Wow. Ranger is taking oh, damage. Oh, 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 the Ranger. some nasty damage there the base star is under very very high pressure though oh wow this is like i think we've never had so much space debris around us and you guys come around fire at the squadron artemis plug on the left Still firing here. Ranger, time to bail out. Problem is, there is this this guy there. So let's fly like so. Or oh, there are more missiles coming in. That's certainly not good. Um, well, but both our sides have been opened up. So I guess. Yeah, it's actually not a good thing. And then we are getting close to this one though. This could be the death. So let's rather fly like this. Oh, that well, that doesn't look good though. Doesn't look good here. And actually, like you are activating your flag, aren't you? So then let's fly like this and below like so. And then you guys, you just stay here. You're actually you're just staying put. Can we do that? Like this. And we are firing our missiles into the Cerberus. So including the armor piercers. However, let's defend this Artemis. Also activating flag on the left. Fires yeah, I think they should actually be able to destroy this one. So let's fire down at the Cerberus. You guys. Are still with your flak. Yes, Commander. Firing at the Cerberus.
Well, actually, we can. Yeah, they are probably not uh, flying in there, so. Well, you guys attack this one here, and you guys attack that one. Squadron yeah, target is on confirmed. It. Well, now our ships can concentrate uh, on the on the radars now. That's the good news. Yeah. Well, I think it's fine. And the Galactica, Galactica, is coming around like this, and we are shooting at the Cerberus as well. So, all right. Well, rather messy everything. Ending the turn, and with their Ranger base is ships, taking very damage. good. The base ship, oh, nice explosion there. If their base ships ex uh, exploded, the the raiders should actually have some disadvantages. Oh, oh, we, oh, yeah, nice. Well, I oh, know. Well, they are still sitting up here. The but we. We fought down the boarding party, so it pays off to have well-trained marines. We can cancel the flak. Focus fire there. Missiles there. Wow, so much space debris. Fortunately, we Onyx just bounce into it. And well, is there anybody to shoot here? Actually, no. Well, then let's fire down there. Artemis can also cancel flag. Let's actually shoot at this one here. Focus fire. So it looks like we've saved all our ships. Oh, the Carolides now. Oh, 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 what's going on here? Who's shooting at you? Oh well, I guess. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Oh no. We are. I think we are going to lose the Carolides. Oh no. Yes, sir. Um. Why? How? They are shooting from here. Oh no. And there's even another shot. Oh no. This is the killing shot. Oh no. It didn't work. We were a little bit too high here. Crap. Go there. You guys, brace for impact. On it, commander. Yeah. Go to escape, escape pods, all men, all hands to escape pods. Well, yeah, it's crap. That's the killing shot here. That's very bad. Well then, uh, that's very bad. Well, so we do have you two and you can actually, yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here with the raiders. Oh no, there's another. Is this a colonial transport there? Going to explode? Well, it didn't yet. So let's, but let's actually, let's go a bit higher here. Just in case. And we are firing at them, of course, so. Well. Let's look at the killing shot. Oh no. Oh no. Well, I need to turn. Yeah, yeah. Crap. I really this. But I mean, like, such a nasty, messy situation. Welcome back, Praetor Agathon. Thank you, Admiral. Commander, is Admiral Sarkis with the Galactica crew? No, sir. His status is uncertain. Until we find out otherwise, Admiral Kane remains the commanding officer of Colonial Fleet. Uh huh. Well, <laughs> I have to say, I can't. I really can't really follow the the story here. It's a, a bit weird. But well, well, that was certainly a very interesting battle. Gerhard Artemis killed two. Well. I mean, I was a little bit reckless here with the Carolides, I have to admit that. We should have pulled her out, but on the other hand, there was not no really no space to pull out. And I think we needed her offensive power as well. And Toto, yeah. Atlatlis, 
That was pretty cool though, this uh, torpedo strike. Um, that went right between our frigates there. That was pretty cool. And then we've got the Galactica now. All right, well, and she doesn't get any experience or what? Hmm. Well, let's have a replay then. Our beautiful fleet. Yeah, I mean, our Ranger was actually hit by this uh, explosive charge. That was very sad. But well, very nice background, though. Very nice background. There, they jump in. Nasty base star. Yeah, so they actually shot the first one. And that one, we dodged that. Oh yeah, and they exploded. Big with the Ranger. Oh, yeah, but our, uh, our Vipers actually intercepted all of those. Okay. I was actually wondering, because I didn't see, the, uh, see any uh, torpedoes going through. But I, I, I hadn't seen it. Um, I just uh, suspected that the Vipers had intercepted the Okay, so... Well, then I'm actually glad that we could save a lot of Viper pilots in the end. But there was also massive firepower that the Cylons jumped in here. That's for certain. So things could have been worse. down Jupiter is coming up our missiles fired by the base star on their way to our ships yeah well and th well, they still had a huge uh, and well this explosion wiped out one complete squadron I think yeah and they, you know, we missed those fighters uh, in the dogfight. What kind of camera angle is that? Yeah, Cerberus. Go up already. Oh yeah, oh yeah, wow. Yeah, yeah. That was the problem, yeah. That was the, nearly the full uh, torpedo. So that's the signal. Oh yeah, well, even more stuff. Uh, well, it was a relatively close call now. Should have, I should have uh, maneuvered more aggressively there. But we didn't have so much space to maneuver, that was a problem. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does happen. Poor Karolides, but there will be a Karolides too. We will remember her sacrifice so Gisela all in all good mission I think especially like trading in terms of what trading one base star to Cerberi and did this planet just grow no we have a new planet here what's that <laughs> what's going on here chapter 13 marathon Commander, your team made a commendable effort in retrieving the Galactica and its crew sir Destroying the relay inside of Caprica Terminal has dented the silence interference with Idris. Sam has given us the last known coordinates of Clothos's base. I've been able to make a pretty accurate assessment of where the planet has moved to since then. Since Marathon is rogue, we can't rely on orbital data to jump in safely. Instead, we'll first disrupt the Cylon fleet's mustering point outside of Marathon's atmosphere. From there, we can launch a direct assault on Clothos's base. This is our opportunity to close out this war. Good hunting, Commander. Oh, interesting. <clears throat> Marathon is a rogue terrestrial planet, so a planet without a sun. That's just drifting through the galaxy, huh? notable for containing an unusually dense quantity of minerals in its crust. Well, and that's where they are building their ships, huh? 
intelligence suggests this is a regular mustering point for Cylon fleets. Expect heavy resistance. Wow, okay. And we are getting rewards for that. Which would imply that this is not the last mission. Well, but that was a pretty cool mission. <clears throat> well, 8600. They are there. One. Oh, yeah, they are building up those fleets. Okay. <clears throat> it's time to hunt. So, however, now we lost some ships or one ship. But we got the. Galactica, and who's that? Zilas Nash. Zilas, who are you? <coughs> He's a marine colonel and warrior, marine strength. <coughs> well, I mean, okay, that would imply that uh, we should actually, like, if we keep such a commander, that we would actually send out a lot of raptors. Yeah, I mean, he looks tough, that guy, that's for sure. So, well, well, that was interesting. That was certainly interesting. Well, then, so let's have a look. Intelligence report. Nothing has changed here. 455 income. We need to scout the Cylon mustering point in Marathon and clear all hostiles. Government of Geminon is requesting intervention. Mnemosyne, Min Mnemosyne, sorry, Mnemosyne. <clears throat> is, uh, what they want repair. Cylon fleet has jumped out of our detection range at Nossos, okay. Well, okay then, so here. This is 2150. <clears throat> Tja. Eh. Uh, oh, yeah, here, no. That's fine. So, where. Where are we? Oh, let's repair the fleet first. All the fleets. So, here, you guys. Well, now we lack a ship. And we probably shouldn't weaken our other ships. I mean, we could actually, we could replace uh, the Pamir, for example, uh, with the other one, right? So that's minus 1,500. And then we can easily fit the Galactica in there. That's Cocalus. There's Nossos, okay. So an enemy fleet might be at Nossos now. <clears throat> Tja, well. And there we have the battle star. Building the ship. So we have one turn for the frigates. This one is three. Could rush that. 570 bow. Oh, well, it's actually a bit expensive. So we are going to. To jump away now. I mean, the big question is like, I'm, I, I'm not really sure about our economics like that. We have minus 40% supply cost, so that is certainly a significant thing. Plus 20% tillium from fortified colonies. However, 20% or something, so then it's maybe like like 80 or so. Per turn that we get more, but only from the fortified colonies, so yeah. Yeah, I think it's actually really worth it to jump away and then then we'll 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 stay at Scorpia, I think. For a moment. Before Stillium from unfortified. Okay, no, then we need to go back, yeah. I mean, I could actually imagine us jumping in here again. 
but I, f I had felt that there was too much pressure coming up and that the Daedalus was at too much risk, of course. And I know that you were arguing, you guys were arguing for a long while there. So you here, Kuchenika, these guys, and there. So you transfer here. You also transfer there, so can do like Jody can work with this here a little bit at least. So well, yeah, that's a good fleet. Could replace one Corvette with one frigate. So, or can we actually for 500? Yeah, yeah, we could. Okay. Now we need a new rep, a, a new Ranger. Repair this one. Yeah, well, so I think we should actually um, get one battle star. So we could actually get one battle star here to Jody. Yeah, we don't have the capacity. Yeah, I think we are jumping one battle star to Delium. Which is sort of risky. But I guess we should try it. Pamia. Yeah, so let's send the Pamia. Detach. And then you transfer. Why? Eh, why is that 6-8? No, eh? Uh, sorry, 5-1. So here, transfer. There. There you go. So, and now, Gisela has 750. So that's actually another frigate that we could use here. Yeah. One frigate. Well, let's let's give one. Uh, no, it's here. Be here. Well then, yeah, let's uh, let's have the cable chat then. Transfer this one over here, and then that's our most powerful fleet now. Three frigates. The Galactica is the flagship. Rainier, which is uh, especially good because Gisela has the lead foot max speed for the for the slow bucket yeah that's actually i think that's re really good now so and then here we have 6000 oh yeah beautiful we can actually just put this one here around let's transfer this one there confirm there you go and then we've got, that's also a great fleet now with three battle stars. Excellent. Like really nice. Only uh, Davis has some problems due to uh, the two gunships here, but well. So, and now we can actually, we can go hunting with this fleet here, Gisela. Gisela is going for a hunt at Icarus. What kind of fleets are these? Ah, why, why is this not uh, lighting up here? Like if I click like this. So it's this one here, 7950. That's 49, an 86. That one, 418. Okay, and over there, that's 65, 79, 65. And 8-6. Uh-huh. This one is there, okay. Well. Yeah, let's jump for 140 over here. We need to we need to uh, reduce that number, so jumping there. Confirming. Yeah, 
and then we, then we don't even need it to uh, send out any uh, ships over here so actually um, losing the ranger solved one problem which was where to leave that one ship yeah sounds a bit cruel I know oh yeah and we need to repair you guys as well so then let's double check I didn't forget anybody over here no that's good and then there we are good here we are good and here we are good there we are good there we are good here everything is fine this battle star you guys have 1300 points well you need a you need a corvette well then so let's have one corvette for you so the four oh it's for 10 yeah well let's jump for 10 over here and then we'll have this battle star the ashigaru I should actually let's form the fleet with these guys here yeah that was the idea in the first place uh, on the other hand no sorry um by the way what happens like if we rush this like if we rush something like if we rush this then they are immediately there right that's one ranger and these guys here We have only a, a weak fleet. Yeah, well, but still, let's do it for 190. There, and then the, the ships are in, immediately here. You guys transfer there. Ranger transfers here as well. Officer. Hermenning, Glio, Silas. Yeah, let's have Silas here. There. I guess he's not very happy that uh, he's, you know, like after commanding the Galactica. But I mean, now he has uh, three ships to command, so. And all of them rookies, so he has some time to train them. Okay, and then they keep this one fortified, and then we are jumping over here. Confirming the jump, which is also saving the Corvette over there. And which also means, by the way, so here, that's one Corvette for this fleet. Then we need, from you guys, we actually need another Corvette. Eh, yeah, who, who did actually jump? Yeah, here the Pultova detach press the pultova and the pultova jumps over here as well did i make a mistake here what did, did they jump oh yeah the whole fleet huh ah i i didn't detach the thor before okay that was the problem Yeah, what's going on here? Thor, detach. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. No, sorry. I, I clicked transfer. So sorry. I'm. Uh, I'm a bit tired already. Evidently. So here. Then you guys jump there as well. Fleet group has its coordinates. And then we have two corvettes here. One will uh, go. F uh, will complete Pamela's. And the other one will go here. Why do we have the, the officer not here? Why, why is that? Didn't I assign him? Ah. These three, okay. Assign the Tillium. There you go. So now. Those are these two. Okay, good. 
everything is fine. Okay, so. Fleet management done over there. This is a fleet that we also need to strengthen. Here like so. And they need one one frigate actually. We have one ballista here. Ah, but let's keep it like this. So Good, I think we are done there. You guys are hunting, everybody else stays at the planet to defend. Here, all the planets are also fortified, so it's fine. Ending the turn. I think I didn't forget anything. And by the way, blueprints. Let's have a look. Codex. Why don't we have oh yeah, the base star here? So, destroyed one. Well, that's not enough information, but the Serestes, we have destroyed five, but it's still at 50%. Yeah. Okay, well, and Cerberus, we have destroyed nine, which gives us three quarter of the information. 1,100 fleet points, speed is unknown, size class four, heavy turrets, penalty unknown. Uh -huh. They have no penalties. No one has penalties. Okay, and do we have penalties? None. Jaw control. Yeah. No penalties for the ranger. Turret range, turret accuracy, marine strength. Jaw control and pitch for the Atlas carrier. Hmm. Firewall regeneration. Damage reduction, max distance is the advantage. I oh, know, sorry, the, the other one was the advantage, right? Turret range and turret accuracy is better with the Minotaur. Okay, marine strength is low. Okay. Oh yeah, so this uh, this makes the Minotaur very, very weak against uh, fighters and heavy raiders, by the way. That's also another argument against this Thug fleet. Yeah, that's super dangerous. I mean, okay, we still, we, we do have some time, I think, like if we were to fly in with five Minotaurs and two battle stars or something, yeah, and uh, punch through the ships, then of course the enemy, uh, well, actually, is the, is, is the battle over when we destroy all capital ships? That could also be the case. Might be, yeah, well. And then that battle would could be won easily and uh, before even the the enemy fighters are doing anything. Not sure that also detected a Cylon strike fleet, sir. Okay, Cylons. Cylons are battle still group is engaging hostiles. Concentrating here on Helios Alpha. But that's fine. So Gisela is over here hunting, and now we will see the, the Jupiter on our terms in action. Yeah. Action in our terms, so yeah. But what happens next, my dear fellow tacticians and strategists? We will see in the next episode. Thanks for watching. This is an interesting development. I have no idea how we know about this planet now, though. And uh, <laughs> the whole narrative is yeah, like, yeah, well, that's possibly not the strongest parts of this game the whole narrative, but well, uh, we already know that, so, but it's still pretty cool. I'm looking forward to the Galactica, and next turn we are also going to, or not the turn, that will be the next management phase, of course, but then we are jumping the, uh, the Daedalus over here, and then we are going to build ships with our 8,000. Do we have eight? Where's our... Where are our resources? Uh, here, 7,300, okay, yeah. So we can invest like, I would, I'm would. i feeling comfortable with around 6,000 Tillium to invest actually, so. And I'm even willing to rush it a little bit, so. But now we actually have a fleet at every colony, in theory at least. 
except for Canceron for some uh, reason. Why? Why was Canceron again? I'm actually not entirely certain which one is Canceron, but we'll find out. So, like this one. Actually, we should have one, but well, anyway. So, Gisela will hunt, but in the next episode. Thanks for watching. We are continuing next time. If you like this one just a teeny tiny little bit, please do click the like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you never ever miss an episode again. And if you have any thoughts you wish to share, please do so in the comment section. You know you're always welcome. See you next time. Bye bye.